Hey everybody, so it's a little bit toasty here right now in Missouri, so I'm walking the slippers short. Sorry I don't look as professional in this video. Um, but today we got with us a Loophole Bear X3 I LRP 4.5 by 14 by 50. You can see that there. Um, so let's open it up and see what we got inside. Psych, it's empty. That is because. I've actually owned the scope for about two years and she's been the topple of three different guns of mine. So I've had her on top of a 300 wind mag, um, long range platform, um, full barrel. I had it on there for about a year, did a good job, killed some coyotes at six, seven hundred yards. Um, and then I topped, pulled it off of that, put it on a 338 Federal, which I used up in Alaska last spring season and fall season um, as a barrel slash goat gun. Um, it was a good gun, it was just getting a little too heavy to lug around on those goat hunts, so I just topped it on this right here, um, used it for last se last season goat hunt, did a good job, so this scope has already been through a lot, um, as you can see the scope's caps have been torn up, um, trying to make them piece together, so that's my biggest complaint on the scopes, on um, this scope is that it doesn't come with flip up caps, it comes with the, the rubble snap on piece and it used to be one solid piece with two strands and it would kind of buckle on but that's a very minute complaint because you can go on loophole's website and just order the ones um the flip up ones online i just wish they kind of came with them but this thing has been picked up um you can see it's been well used but today we're going to put it through some testing for you guys benefit um and then we're going to shoot it before we do the testing so we're going to put around through it um i think i got the target set up at about 160 yards ish i got the range finder right there take the video show that to you um shoot it i'm gonna show you guys it's on and then after that we're gonna do some finging clanking around um dunking some water and then shoot it again and make sure it's still on the mark because this for me is a hunting scope it's been beat to crap already up in alaska actually i'll tell you a story real quick so we're climbing up called misery ridge is the nickname that we have for it i hope this isn't too windy by the way filming this outside but going up misery ridge i have my frame pack kind of has you know frame comes up on either side it's a alaska front tail gear i think's the name of it. it's good pack um so you carry your rifle like this so you can kind of you know, use your other hand, you have a pickaxe kind of going up, because it's real steep, it's a sucky climb. Um, going up, anyways, I slipped, and I twisted into the mountain, so I wouldn't, you know, you don't want to twist away from the mountain, or it's going to fall, and then drove the gun and the scope into the side of the mountain. Um, didn't think that much about it, went up, um, we ended up finding a goat we wanted to, to shoot, so have the rifle up on it, I don't, I don't carry a bipod on it when I'm, when I'm hunting, I just use the, my pack usually to rest it um, up. Before you shoot, you always check your dial. The dial was twisted, just like so. Um, that's the only complaint, other than the caps that I have on the scope, is that there's no locking mechanism for the turret. So you just want to make sure you check and it's still on zero before you shoot. Um, but with that being said, let's dive right into this review. 142 yards. That's it down there. Gonna grab the old gun. Um, I'm thinking lean you guys up like that. I think that should give you a good view of the shot. Got loaded. Ugh. Play with this. So you got good parallax adjustment, so you kind of look through there, clear her up. 14 power zoom is more than enough. Okay, I'm on zero. Go ahead and take a shot. Fortunately, I messed up the force take. So we had her in the water for about a minute, or was a minute, and then I realized that I actually 
push the volume button on the side of my iPhone and then that caused the video to pause and stop so we didn't have all, all the whole minute so now she's actually going to get two minutes underwater so you we can test the waterproofness of this scope so we got the fish tank got the scope caps are off she's going in so as you can see she is underwater I'm doing my best to keep the action and the trigger assembly out of the water just from regular maintenance so it's been about 10 seconds now we will watch the watch She can breathe again. Give her a good shaking. So you can see there's quite a bit of water in there. Quite a bit of water in there. So what we're looking for is to make sure that no water sinked inside the scope because we don't want that silver boat. So there's quite a bit of water in there. So what we will do is we'll dry the lenses off of the napkin and then make sure that the seal is still good. And if it's not, I'll let you wipe her off. Lens all dry. Oh, my finger was in the frame. In front of it. She had moisture. Now the moment of the truth to see if the seal held all right. So I'm gonna twist you guys off here to the side while I look through it. Turn it down to 4.5. Ah! Spinning you all over the place. Ah ha ha! Good news, boys and ladies. Um, she's still clean. Uh, I'll do my best to line you up so you can see. Okay, as you can see, she's all clear and good to go. Beautiful. Okay, you guys are going to have to forgive me. I'm not crazy, crazy, crazy committed. And I'm not going to pitch my gun across the yard without having it in a soft shell case. I will call for my guns and my scopes. And I'm not gonna go too, 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 too crazy with beating the hell out of them. So, you know, they get used. I guide with them in Alaska, but guns pretty hard, and I don't wanna break anything. That's not, I'm not gonna go above normal use. And I don't think slamming it into the ground whole bunch of times more than necessary what I want to do so we got it on a soft showcase so as you can see it's not it's not I mean you can grab the gun right there it's not like a hard shell case it's just given the, that little layer of protection so I'm not shadowing any glass because impacts impact um so <sighs> ah, that hurts me to do boys and women, give her another good toss and into the tree, onto the ground. For you Avengers fans, ever seen it? Some of you guys might know what that is, but it's new superhero movies. Hulk smash! One more good toss for good precaution. Now we'll pull her out of the case. She's in the case. Dial is still on. Actually, now I take it back. It's one click off. Now it's still on. Must have got bumped around a little bit. But shock training. I mean got to be able to take a decent beating. Ah, dropped her on a rock right there. Oops. She's unloaded. Just took a little bit of impact right there. Alright, now the test. We're going to take the 150 yard shot. See if she's still on. See if she's held up all right 
I know a lot of people are gonna say 150 yards is not not far of a shot. I agree, but that's the shot we're gonna take because that's how far I can shoot at my house. So you can see the impact. It actually ripped the case from one of the hits it took, bouncing off that chest pocket. So put one in. Ah. Now if the scope did a job right, and I don't absolutely blow it as a marksman. Get back in the flame. We should only need one. Okay, lock it back. Got a little bit of gunk in, in the chamber from soaking all. I'm sorry, gun. I always say, treat your gun like a woman. She take care of you. I did not do that today. Okay, she's on zero. Gonna go ahead and take the shot. Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened. Usually I don't mess, but it could have been me. I'm going to take another one. Let's tell us. Okay. So this goes to show you that you gotta take care of your guns. So what we're gonna do, instead of trying to shoot the little water bottle, we're gonna put a box, got sweat in my eyes, put a box up, draw a little dot, and see how far the scope moved. And it could have been very well the mounts, but something has changed. So let's go check it out. Okay, I think it's on. So we shot and we were hitting, we don't know where we're hitting, so Gonna shoot off a couple of rounds, figure out where it's at. We just got done beating the crap out of the gun, the scope, and the mounts. So really it's hard to pinpoint what moved, but something moved. Um, so we're gonna fire off this full shot and uh, see what happens. If any luck, we'll be able to see where we hit and then adjust it from there and hopefully get a back sighted in. We're almost dead to a MOA to the right. Yeah, two MOA to the right. So pop the cap off. Hey. Move a left. One. Two. Now we see if we can win the stick. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating like a, like a dog. We'll put another round through. See what happens. Walking on getting that good natural point of aim. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we are right there. So we went up the fall. We're going to move two clicks. You see her? Can you not find her? Maze! Hey, sorry. I'm back. I had to help my sister find her puppy. 
<laughs> so anyways, we're getting pretty close back on the target. Let me look back through the scope, get back focused to what I was doing. Okay, so they got a half the MOA to the left now. If I remember correctly, I adjusted it two clicks before I left. And it's got us a touch, touch high. So move it down two clicks. Oh, Mills. This is a mill scope, not MOA. Put another round through. See what we look like. Thank you for getting right on the money. Let's go take a game to it all. And then maybe we can see if we can blow up a water bottle. Okay. We got the camera set up, we're gonna go pull the trigger, boom, and make this thing go whoosh. Okay, just made it back up front. Put your video iPhone up like that. Pop the bullet in the chamber. Be careful, children. That's how babies are made. Probably shouldn't have said that. Okay. Camera's rolling down there. We got that. So what we did today is we shot it, blew the water bottle up, dunked the scope in the water for it was only supposed to be a minute, but it ended up being two minutes total time. Um, and then threw the gun around and just tried to beat it up a little bit. And then shot way to the right. Beat the gun up pretty good. Something changed. Walked it in, three shots, got it back in close enough where I think I can blow up a water bottle, which represents putting down whatever you're shooting. So, here we go. Another one bites the dust, boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust, oh, oh, oh. All right, that's it. Peace out.